In today's video, I'm going to be building a supermarket in my Bloxburg town, and at the end of the video, I'll be inviting you guys to come to my opening. So this is episode 10 of my town series. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, go watch them. So for the longest time now, everyone has been begging me to add a supermarket. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We also have a Aman and a Talek here. And one thing for certain is that Aman sucks at soccer. <laughs> So the location of this supermarket is going to be up here. As you can see, it's very, very small. Hence why I'm going to be doing it myself today. And this is also going to be the last plot that we have to fill up in Samira Street. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. I'd note though, I cannot believe this town series has nearly come to an end. I started this back in October 2023. It's now January 2024. It's crazy how much we have done to this town. Also, why did I decide to make all of these buildings so small? I have no idea. I'm kind of regretting it though, but it does make the town look pretty interesting. Also, if you guys have any ideas, as you can see on Salem side, we have three buildings left to do and I have no idea what to put here. So please comment and let me know what I should have on these three streets. One thing, however, is we do have a secret statue here that Italic will be building. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Now for this supermarket, first off, why is there just a dirty plate on my, okay. Which one of y'all done this? That is disgusting. I don't know how we're meant to fit everything in this tiny little supermarket. You know what? We shall persevere. I'm thinking we can have like it come out all the way to the road. Get rid of this sign. It's taking up too much space. Yeah, have it like that. I mean, it's going to be a very small supermarket, but it's okay. I mean, you know what though? The good thing about having a very small supermarket is we can make it very detailed instead of having a big supermarket with not much detail. So I want to have a roof that comes up like this. So then this way we can have the supermarket decal at the top. Now, does a revolving door fit in here? I feel like it's too big. Oh, wait. Oh, it fits. It's perfectly. Look at that. Beautiful. What's like classic supermarket material? Should we just do slate? Okay, I'm kind of a slate girly. We can do slate. Oh, slate mixed with uh, these large bricks. Oh la la. I kind of want this supermarket to be one of those like obnoxious organic supermarkets that like those rich mums go to. Are their kids uh, organic food only? So we're also going to have a gluten free section as well. For me, obviously. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, I literally have celiac disease, which means I have to eat gluten free food only. Oh, uh, I will get very sick and probably end up in hospital. Teehee. Okay, wait, I came up with an idea. Usually I will have lights on the side of this uh, basic shape and then hang it up on the wall. But what if, hear me out, what if I do it at the back of it? So the sign will be like properly lit up, but you won't see where the light's coming from, if that makes sense. And maybe some green neon lights around the sign. So when I think of like a supermarket or a fancy supermarket, I think of green lights. I don't know why. Like green for some reason just symbolizes a supermarket. So I was going through my Instagram DMs the other day. If you don't already, uh, hello, follow me on Instagram. Instagram. Duh. Anyway, I was going for my DMs and one of you guys sent me this really cute supermarket decal. So I'm definitely going to add it in today's video because when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so creative. I keep forgetting I have to do the back of the supermarket as well. Usually when it comes to the back of my bills, I'm like, Ugh, who cares? No one cares. But um, this is kind of a, a town. So if you're all the way down here, you're going to see the back of this supermarket and we don't want it to be ugly, do we? No. Okay. Mm now for windows. We're going to do custom windows because I can... And because this is a fancy supermarket with fancy windows. I don't know why, but I would love to work in a supermarket. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Every single time I go into a supermarket, I always run into someone I know and it's so awkward. It'll be someone from school and I'll just like look at them and they'll look at me and we'll just both pretend we don't exist. It's great. I love it. Okay, they're my custom windows. Very nice. Very fancy. Okay, I want to add some awnings, but I don't know if I should add them up here or down by the door. I think down by the door. That looks better. Okay, the signature color of the supermarket is going to be beige and flint. See, I kind of like that. You know what I don't like though? The fact that this supermarket has like no structure at the top. Okay, this is nearly done. Uh, don't you guys love when I mess up the measurements of the window? That's, that's just great. I'm going to have to delete this. Yay. Okay, one more thing I do want to add in these windows is a grocery decal. So we'll put a clear basic shape on the window and then a poster. See, look at that. Boom. Genius behavior. Wow. Also, the only reason I'm adding a uh, supermarket in my town is because you guys kept accusing me of uh, starving you. So yeah, can't accuse me now, can you? You know what? I think the last time I'd done a supermarket was when I was renovating BFF Supermarket in Bloxburg. And that was ages ago. It only felt like yesterday when I'd done that. The time goes by so fast. What the heck? Okay, I think the outside of the supermarket's done. This roof up here 
it needs to be a bold color, a nice bold statement. You know, what if we do a nice dark green like that? Ooh, that is pretty nice. Okay, lastly, we'll just put a little floor sign at the front and now we can move on to the inside. I'm also gonna do the same uh, back here, what I done with the front. Just sort of look stupid from the back. Oh my God, Alaska Violet caring about what the back of her builds look like? <gasps> Crab goes wild. Okay, and done. First thing I want to do in here is the cash register and the counter. Oh, and of course, I want to fancy floors in here, obviously. What's like a floor I've never done before? I'm trying to be creative, okay? Don't bully me. Yes, I care about what my floors look like. You should too. See, look at that fancy floor. Anyway, so the thing with this supermarket is it's literally like the tiniest thing on the planet. So I have to try and make sure we add everything we need in the supermarket with such a limited space. Now, first off, where is the cash register going to go? I think here is the safest option, right in this corner here. So we can do the counter first. I love how we're doing such a fancy little supermarket. I'm literally using $100 basic counters. You're basic. Listen, we can be bougie on a budget, okay? Who says we can't? Okay, you know what some supermarkets usually have? On the counter where you're getting uh, all your food scanned, they'll usually have all the lollies and sweets over here. And the reason they do this is because if you're like a kid and you're with your parent and you want like lollies, while your parent's getting their food scanned, you're gonna be staring right directly at the lollies. So marketing geniuses, I say. And we'll also have some paper bags as well in case no one brought any. The amount of times I've broke a bag like this, it's not even funny. It's embarrassing actually. As we all know, supermarkets don't just have food they also have some toiletries so I'm thinking maybe at the back of this counter we can add things such as toothbrushes toiletries etc so back here we can have all the toothbrushes which are $230 each wow love being scanned you know love it okay what else maybe all the shampoo and conditioner I was talking to my friend the other day and we're talking about what would we do if we we're in a zombie apocalypse and I just said I would live in a grocery store you have everything you need you wouldn't need to leave there's also like no windows. So if a zombie tries to break in, it's very difficult. Oh, and of course we cannot forget toilet paper, except usually in a grocery store, they don't just have toilet paper. It's usually in a basket of some sort. So we'll be extra this time and place the toilet paper in a basket. <laughs> Okay, all hot food. So we can have pizza. You know, I'm just gonna place food bags. We're just gonna pretend these are like hot dogs or something. We also need some room for carts. Fortunately, Bloxburg doesn't have carts. They only have these baby shopping carts, which um, no one wants these, but we'll add a few. Actually, we're gonna do my little build hack instead. Instead of trolleys, we're just gonna have uh, basic strollers. Cause these kind of look like shopping carts, okay? Are they shopping carts? No. Do they look like them? Yes, so we're adding them. And I don't wanna hear no Alaska, they're not actually, <laughs> zip it. I don't wanna hear it, okay? They they are shopping carts. Okay, so we've got all the carts here. I'm thinking in the middle of our supermarket, we need to of course have some fruit stands. So I'm thinking something like this. And honestly, I think we only need like two of them. So maybe one there and one here. And we're gonna leave these fruit stands empty because we're gonna fill them in at the end of the video. So we have our fruits. Now I wanna do the fridges. Now for this, I'm gonna use these commercial display fridges. And the reason I'm doing this so we can actually fill them in ourselves. Okay, don't laugh at me, but I actually did not know we could even do this until like two weeks ago when someone told me. Oh my god, we can be fancy. You know how like fancy people buy milk in jars? Well, uh, yeah, who says we can't do the same thing? Place a round jar, fill it with uh, white stuff. So now to just copy this and add it all the way back here. Oh! $400. Um, girl, I'm about to be poor after this, mate. Poor, I'm telling you. And more photos. That's another thing we need as well. More paintings. This feels like illegal building on the town without one of you guys helping me. That's another thing as well. When I am building with you guys, you guys build so fast compared to me who builds so slow. I feel like a turtle compared to you. Okay, and it wouldn't be a supermarket without obnoxiously white blinding lights, obviously. Oh, wait, you know what would be kind of cool? If we had chandeliers is above the fruit stands. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I like it. We're keeping it. Okay, and the last thing we need in the supermarket is just everyday food items. And we're going with that fancy organic look, okay? So maybe back on this wall, we'll have like a big basic shape. And then on top of this, display counters. Maybe this can be all the bread and everything. And FYI, yes, everything in the store is going to be gluten-free. Let me just rant to you guys for a hot minute, okay? Whenever I go shopping, there's like this tiny little section that says gluten-free and that's what I have to choose from. Whereas compared to you guys, you guys can get to shop like throughout the whole store. It's awful. So yeah, celiac disease, not fun. Not a fan. 
then maybe back here we'll have everything from the uh, Bloxburg food section, which is absolutely nothing. You know, for a role-playing game, you'd think they have more groceries. They have nothing, except like Roros. Like who wants to eat Roros? Me, actually, they look pretty tasty. Wow. That section filled out and just like that, our supermarket is complete and comes to a total of 1.4 million dollar Roonies. And uh, as you can see, I also invited a few of you guys. And these are how the decals turned out. As you can see, a few of you guys have uh, came up with these really cute Samira supermarket decals. And one of you guys even made this little bakery section decal, which is pretty cute. So with that being said, everyone welcome to my supermarket. Have a look around. Please don't steal my money or I'll cry. Okay. Oh my gosh, someone's using the cards. That is so cute. I thought only toddlers can use that. Also, this person's avatar. Oh my god, what is that? Is that an Among Us character? Absolutely not. Open up. Go through the door. The door's open, you fool. Red, what are you doing? Okay, next please. Oh my gosh. Girl, that is a lot of fruit. Okay, that will be uh, $4. Can you all please get off the counter? Excuse me. Red, you looking kind of sus. Oh my god, shut up. I cannot believe I just said that joke. Um, listen, what's your name? Old Bone? Grace? It's not Grace. There's this thing called a uh, personal space bubble. You are currently inside of my personal space bubble. I can see your nose hairs from up here. What are you doing? Okay, hello. Can I help you with anything? I feel like I should be helping someone. Mm. Hmm, can I buy one? Well, I mean, this is a grocery store, so yes, you can buy one. I said you can buy it, not eat it. Yeah, that right there, $20. I also think like 10 people just shoplifted, but I don't have any security. Okay, someone just sent me $6,969. Interesting. Okay, well, um, it hasn't even been five minutes since I have opened up my supermarket. And already all of my fruit is gone. All of my chicken is gone. Oh, these were all filled up, by the way. I didn't show you, but I filled these up. This took like 30 minutes of my time and you just took it away in like two seconds can i buy this toothbrush in my mouth uh yes please please buy it i don't want it um i think there's someone stuck in my wall <laughs> who is this person we're gonna ignore him, okay? I don't want to get sued. Okay, hello. How can I serve you today? I was wondering. Well, wonder quicker because we literally have like 30 people lined up right now. I'm the only person working. Takes pizza. Hey, don't steal my pizza. You, listen up. Oh, the Among Us person's stealing. Everyone get the Among Us character. Get him. Oi, listen up, mate. Where are you? Where'd he go? You, stop stealing my food. You're gonna fight? Get him off, fight ya. Yeah, get him, get him. You have the audacity to come in my store and steal my food. Who do you think you are? Get out of here. Get out. You, you Listen up. Get out of here. You steal my food. Who do you think you are? You can run, but you can't hide. Get out of my school. You're not welcome in here. I'll cook you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 10 of my town series. This supermarket turned out pretty cute. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.